The fact that I'm sitting here eating a bag of hot Cheetos and also drinking matcha is just so <laughs> counterproductive on brand. Like, what am I doing? I'm eating this like I have a BBL. It's giving BBL effect. up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video i'm automatically laughing because i am dying at the fact that oh my god that has to stop that has to stop that has to stop okay anyway so i'm filming this video because in the month of march actually no this started back in Fe february because i realized that i have a shopping problem i have a serious issue like it's not even funny it's not funny but I continue to do it even though it's like really detrimental to me. It's not even, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really love shopping and I have this impulse thing. Like if I see something on someone, I will like go immediately to buy it. Like I don't take a while on my purchases unless it's super expensive then i will obviously like i'll think about it but like if it's something just like a random shirt or like shoes or just like i don't know just like a random top or piece of jewelry i will just immediately go buy it and it's really bad and so i decided for the month of march i would do a no spending month and clearly by the title of this video you could tell how that went because this is everything that i bought in the month of march but i did a lot better than i did in february february i was going ham so if you can tell by the amount of stuff I have in this video, you can just imagine what I did in February. So if you guys want to see a video of like just a combination of everything that I buy each month, let me know because I think I want to just like do these every month because there's a lot of random stuff in here. A lot of it's clothing. Some of it is PR, like some of this stuff was sent to me, but I'm still including it because I got it in March. I'm just going to get into everything that I got. A lot of it's clothes. I'll tell you what's gifted and what's not. And yeah, I'm just going to break down everything. So where should I start? I guess I can start with Aritzia. I got a couple things from Aritzia. So the first thing I got is this top. I'm obsessed with it. There's actually matching pants and don't tempt me because I will buy the matching pants to these. I love them. Um, so yeah, this is the top. It's actually, I think, a size medium. It's a size medium and it's pretty oversized, honestly. Like it fits, you guys, it's like pretty long. I love it. I thought it was very spring. I just really like the color of it. And then the other two things I got, you guys maybe saw as my vlog, but I haven't worn them because I'm saving them for when I go to Tulum. This is a tube top and it's ribbed material. It's super, super cute. They have us in a bunch of colors and this is a size small. And so I just like that it's super thick and it's stretchy. I wish that it wasn't straight across on both sides. I wish that the front went up a little bit, but I still really love it. I think I'm going to go back and get another tube top from them. And then these are the pants that come in this color as well. So they come in white and purple. They're the boardwalk pants from Aritzia. I'm going to link everything from this video down below. They fit a little lower and looser than I think what they were intended to. But I tried on the small in the store and they were just too tight on my butt. And it was giving me like this weird little pooch. I was not feeling it. So I got these in a medium and I love them. That's everything I got from Aritzia. And then I got a couple things from Skims. I'm kind of doing it in like order of what I have on my body. So this tank top right here is from Skims. I love this. I just really needed some good basic tank tops. It is um, bone, I think is the color. So it's not super stark white. It almost has like a cream color to it, but I really, really like that. And I also got it in gray. This is the gray one. I've worn this like nonstop. These are my favorite. Like they're the best, easiest tank tops. I just didn't have just regular staple tank tops and I wear a size small in both of these and then I also picked up some clothing from the boyfriend collection so this is a boyfriend collection t-shirt this is in a size XL I think what size is this I think that this is an XL or a large but I am in love with it like it is so freaking soft the fabric is my favorite it comes with boxers i think they're sold out of these right now and then when i was online checking out i got it in white and i got it in brown but i accidentally got the white in a size small and honestly this little neck hole right here you guys can see it's way too small like it's so tight so i'm kind of sad because i don't know how i accidentally got a small when i got an xl in this one so sad about that but if you're interested in getting anything from skims like they have the cutest and comfiest and softest fabrics ever and then i also got some skims swim yes i snagged skim swim i barely did honestly because 
they had a pre-sale which I didn't realize that I signed up for the pre-sale so I got on the website at 8 30 but they didn't even launch until 9 and when I got on the website I was like wait it's for sale so I started going through and like half of it was already sold out and there was still 30 minutes until like general like till everyone else could get it and I was like so shook so I just ordered what I could the first thing I got is this one piece I actually really love it I will say like the V is a little bit deeper than what I probably would want but I do feel really snatched in it like the quality of this is so freaking good you guys like this is not a scam this is not like you know you know who but this is really amazing it goes super high up on the side I've never had a one piece that I felt so confident and like it held me in and just like very like good about my body in and this one is so amazing and then I also got this little one piece so I got this in a size small let me see I got this in a size small because I'm typically a small in everything I'm pretty sure I got this no I got this in a size small too okay so I normally get a small in everything tops bottoms bras every single thing in skims i am a small which is really good because i've never shopped on another website that it's like that but i will say i wish i would have gotten an extra small on this just because you can tell the torso is a little bit longer than my torso so it kind of bunches up a little bit in the crotch area but um i still like it i think it would be really really fun styled um and i really like the color it's a very pretty periwinkle colors like this always make me look really tan so that's what I got from Skims this month. And then I bought this bathing suit from Danielle Guzio. I actually really want to return this or maybe I'll sell. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not, but I really wanted to return it. If I could return it, I would. But unfortunately, I didn't read the guidelines. So when I got it in the mail, I was like, oh, I don't like it that much. I'll return it. And I can't. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I love the style and the fabric of it. I thought when I got this in, it was going to be like a really like soft blanket. And I was really curious as to how this was going to be a bathing suit. Um, and there's like so many freaking strings. This thing looks crazy. I mean, on, it does look cute. It's just not very supportive. Like there's no padding in this. It's literally just a piece of fabric that, I mean, it feels like, you know, like somewhat sturdy, but it's also like you can tell in some areas. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's like slightly sheer. I love everything by Daniel Guzio. So I just, I thought I would love this. And unfortunately I didn't, but I also can't return it because you can't return swim to them, I guess. You can't return like swim accessories and something else. So I do have this bathing suit. Maybe I'll wear it in Tulum. I don't know. Maybe you'll see an Instagram photo on this, but I doubt it because I just wasn't obsessed with the fit of that. Next up, I got some pieces from Set Active. They actually gifted these. So all of the other stuff I've showed you guys so far, I bought, but this is gifted. So they launched some new colors for their Los Angeles collection. So each color is named after like a place in los angeles and i love their colors like i think they go so well together so i love their form tees which is what i got i got two of them um and so i picked out this little green tee and it matches with the leggings i just love the way this looks when i have the form tee on with the leggings i look snatched with like a nice like push-up bra i don't know looks so cute if you're going on like a hike or to work out obviously but i don't like to work out so whatever um and then this color is dodger blue i think it's a stunning royal blue i think it's gorgeous um and i wear a size small i think in tops and leggings and so i got the leggings along with the tank top again with this and then their last piece that i picked up this is their short uh shorty suit i think is what it's called this purple is everything if you can't tell i'm kind of in like a purple pink vibe right now i don't have anything pink in this specific haul but i've been wearing pink a lot and for some reason i'm picking out a lot of purple so um i love the color of this and it is a little bit tight on me but i personally don't like the way the medium looks on me so i always get a size small in these but it is a little bit tight like i range between like a four maybe a six i'm normally always a four but this is like a little tight this fabric though which is their sport body is like my favorite fabric that they have so um that's what i got from them oh my god these two items are so random but i have to show you guys we went to um the warner brothers like lots i actually vlogged it if you guys missed it i took brandon on like a date day and we went to warner brothers and so i got two t-shirts which this is what's wrong with me you guys i didn't have to buy these like when i went i could have just left i could have just 
attended Warner Brothers, looked at all the stuff. I didn't have to buy merch, but I have a problem and I will buy merch everywhere I go. So I got this, which is a huge Harry Potter t-shirt. I really want to wear it to Universal one day. Like I want to like style it and make it really funny. I love t-shirts like this. And then I picked up this one because it has Dobby on it. <laughs> I love Dobby. Um, I can't find them online though, so I'll try and link them if I can, if you guys want this. But I hate this t-shirt because it's women's cut, so I should have never bought this. This was so stupid. It's literally an XL, and you can see it's it's just it's just not it's just not an XL. I mean, it's it's hideous, but it is what it is. I did it. Okay, the next items, um, some are gifted and some are what I picked up at the Revolve uh, Social Club. So they gave me credit so I could go into Revolve and like pick out clothes. So I got two things with my credit. I got this men's, I know I'm so weird. Like why is this what I picked out? But honestly, I've worn this every single day <laughs> since I got it. It is this shirt from Aloe Yoga and it's the men's section and it's just like a Henley button up. I got this in a size medium and it's actually pretty nicely like oversized for me obviously because it's a men's shirt but I really love it. It's so soft. It's great quality. I've actually had a couple of you guys ask for links on Instagram like I'll wear just like you can see a video of me from like the top half up and you guys always ask about it which I think is funny because it is really nice so okay the next thing I got is a super cute dress it's hard to hold up but it's from for love and lemons I think it's the perfect spring dress I will say like I don't necessarily love the way my boobs look in this so if you do have bigger boobs maybe opt out not opt out but like just know they're not gonna look the perkiest because there's no real way to like have a bra on with this so I love the way it looks though it's very dainty um and I posted a couple Instagram photos in it and I really did like the way it looked it's just I don't know there was something about it that was just like off you know then I went to Subi with Brandon I don't know why I bought this I just thought it was cute I like these are things that I just shouldn't have bought that I did I'm just stupid so I bought this <laughs> baby tee and it literally just says Subi on it I just thought like it would be nice to have like a casual baby tee I only have one baby tee that I like and it is the one from Realization Par and it's so cute but like it's just basic so I wanted a black one and then I also why did I buy like why did I buy this we were shopping on Melrose and I saw this off-white t-shirt it's really cute I mean it's actually what am I talking about it's not even like it's that cute like I mean it's cute but it's really simple it's just a white t-shirt and it says off-white on it and then the back of it does have like these cute little colors and <laughs> that's simply all it is and it was like $300 so that was really great it's also like a men's XL so I can really only like style this really baggy but I do like it I just I I got sometimes I get into this mode and I just buy things and they just don't they don't make sense they don't make sense looking back on them they really don't <laughs> Okay, next up I went to Brandy. I will say most of these purchases were made at the Grove and now that I'm living in LA, the Grove is a really dangerous place for me. I should not, I shouldn't be allowed at the Grove because I make very poor decisions. <laughs> there's just so, there's just like a vibe there where I just like want to buy a bunch of stuff. There's a Zara, there's an Aritzia, there's a Charlotte Tilbury, there's a Nordstrom. I mean, there's just everything. And I just walk around and I end up buying everything. But there's also a Brandy there and I went to Brandy and I bought some things and I actually am very happy with these purchases. So these are not regrets, but I got this really cute beige and white sweater. It's just like striped. I thought it was really fun. I'm going for like very like loungy summer, spring, chunky sweaters with like the baggy like linen pants. You guys know what I'm saying. Like this is this is the vibe that I'm going for and I really love it. And then I also got this sweater. I bought this one because it kind of reminded me of that look that Hailey Bieber wore. I'll put a picture of it right here. But it reminded me a lot of her. Just I, I don't know why I love this. Um, and I felt like it was really cute and I think I can style it in some cool ways I have some photos saved in my Pinterest like style and spo that that reminded me of so that's why I got it And then I got a tank top from Brandy. I always get sucked into their tank tops I love this one. It's just a simple plain black tank top and then it has this little like heart on it And it looks kind of you know emo vibes love it And then the next thing I bought which I think I'm gonna buy more of are the Brandy underwear you guys they're so freaking cute and dainty. They have all this lace on them and they're just floral and lace underwear and they're so cute. I'm actually wearing a pair right now, but I also have these ones that I can show you guys. 
Like they're so cute. I just love the way they look and they make me feel so cute when I have them on. <laughs> oh, okay, the last two items I have right here are from when I went to a gifting suite. So this is a collab that Coca-Cola did with Daniel W. Fletcher and I love it. It is a men's button up. The quality of this is so nice. Like this material is amazing. This is a size small, but you can see like obviously how big it is on me. I really love it and I just obviously had to have it. You guys know I'm obsessed with coca-cola and look at this freaking bag that they gave me too this tote bag this is genuinely like my favorite bag now i'm obsessed with this i think it's so freaking cute also like this as an all white look i think is stunning um my camera battery is about to die so i'm trying to go a little bit faster but now we're gonna get into some beauty skincare and like random things so the first random item i bought is this camcorder you also probably saw this in a vlog or if you guys follow me on TikTok, I posted it first over there. This is a camera from Danielle Guzio and again, I just, I don't know, it was so random, but I did buy this because when they launched, I had a feeling that they were going to be sold out like really quick. So I got on the website and bought them immediately and then they were literally gone within like minutes. So I'm really happy that I bought this even though it was no spending month <laughs> because I know that if I would have just not got it, then I would have never gotten it in my life. That's also how I feel about the skim stuff. Like those things, when they dropped, I knew like, I know it's no spending month, but like if I don't buy these right now, they're not gonna be restocked for a long time. So I'm very glad I got some of the things that I did get. Also when I was at the Grove, I stopped at Sephora. I picked up this Laneige lip mask and I love it so much. I think it's amazing. I get it in the vanilla scent and I've been using it every night again. I used to have this and I lost it. So I'm obsessed with this. How do I show you guys this mirror without it being like a disaster? How do I? Yeah. Anyway, whatever. I got this mirror and it is off of Revolve. It was like $200, which is kind of expensive, but it is, I mean, it is really nice, but it basically has this magnetic um, tripod on it. Oh my God, I just ripped it off. Magnetic tripod on it so I can put my phone here and record makeup videos for you guys, skincare videos, and it has a huge LED light in it. So. It'll light up really bright and it's just really nice quality. So I ordered this off of Revolve so that I can start doing some better like Instagram, Reels, TikTok content for you guys. I have a couple lip products here. So these items were gifted, but I am obsessed with them. So, oh my God. These glosses are from Laura Mercier and they are the best lip glosses ever. The smell of them is amazing. Like I love the scent of these. Right now I'm wearing the shade Baby Doll. I'll show you guys. It's just the most gorgeous gloss and I don't know. I just love it. Look at how pretty it is, you guys. Oh my god, I love. Also, um, I kind of rotate between Baby Doll and this one, which is super bright, but it's not that. Okay, well, my other camera turned off and it wouldn't turn back on. So we're moving with a different camera. Sorry that it's completely different now. I'm almost done anyway, but I was telling you guys about these glosses. They look super pigmented, which they are a nice pigment, but they're not so in your face so like this one's super dark and i've been wearing it a lot and it doesn't show up like very bright pink i just love these like i'm not kidding these glosses are so freaking good and i am i never was a gloss girl but like i feel like these are good for spring they're super light and really pretty so love them and then this product is from charlotte tilbury this is the charlotte this is charlotte's magic lip oil crystal elixir it is amazing. I am in, I am in love. Like I'm truly in love. I've been keeping this in my purse and in my makeup bag. When I do my makeup, I put it on before I do my whole face. I love the applicator of this. It's one of those like rolly balls. You guys know what I mean? Like I don't want to put too much on here, but like you guys get it. It's a little rolly ball. It smells so good. Like both of these products smell so good. The gloss and this. This is a really nice base, like if you want to do it as prep before you put all your makeup on and you do your lips, or if you just wanna keep it in your purse and like apply it throughout the day, it's really amazing. I love this stuff. And then I also got a couple other products from Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I got a lot of products from Charlotte Tilbury this month, but I'm gonna mention these two because these have become like part of my morning and nighttime skincare routine. These are amazing. I talked to you guys about this eye cream in my last vlog. You guys have to go check it out. But this is Charlotte's, uh, what is this called? Magic Eye Rescue. This is the best eye cream I've ever used in my life. I am in love with this stuff. It is so 
worth it. Charlotte Tilbury skincare is very much worth it. It's so amazing. It's like, I don't know, it's just everything to me. And then this is her magic cream. This is like what I feel like most people have tried from her. But this combo, you do this at night, you do this at night, or you could do the night cream, which I also have that one. I use that one at night, but I do this one in the morning. And then I also do this every single night and I love it. I think it's amazing and i really love these products there's just like not much more i can say except for like you should 100 percent try these out because i feel like they'll change your skincare routine completely the next few products are from nixie studio so some of these items i bought and then some of them like she gifted to me because maddie is so nice and she just like throws in little things in there because she's so cute but these two items i have are um actually i'm gonna show you three items never mind so the first two items are my favorite things Oh wait, I'm totally lying you guys. I bought, okay, this is what I bought. Now I remember, I can't remember what I bought and what she gifted, but in my ears right now, I have three piercing. I actually think I'm going to get four, but anyway, um, these two back ones, I have had these two earrings in since the day that I got these products in the mail and I have not taken them out and they're from Nixie Studios. It's the best stack ever. Like I love the way these look. I don't know if you guys can like, see if it's even focusing but i love the way those two look with like a daintier hoop next to it um or a big one like this so cute and then these earrings i get questions on all the time and they're from nixie it's hard to show you guys but i'm gonna show you like right here you guys see how cute these are i'm holding these so weird but they have these little gems on the top and they're colored so i got them with pink on the top because i felt like they were super spring and then they have these little pearls they're so freaking cute she has these with um, a blue gem and a green gem and i think i'm gonna buy both because i wear these a lot but then sometimes the pink doesn't go if i'm wearing a more neutral outfit so i think i want to get the blue or the green and then i also have this really gorgeous like tennis style chain from her and it's hearts and it's so cute i'm gonna put images that way you guys can actually see the piece up close but i am obsessed with the way that this looks it's a really really gorgeous chain and her quality and like her pieces i feel like are just pieces i don't see anywhere else which i think is really awesome um and then i also got these super cute chunky hoops from her which I mean, these have been through hell and back because I haven't, I've barely taken them off since I've gotten them, but they're just like these thick, chunky hoops. Love those. And the last item I got from Nixie Studios is this LA necklace, which she's so cute. She added this in there and I love it. I think it's super fun because I'm an LA girl now. <laughs> I just feel like this, like, logo like emblem looks so much cuter like i would not get a tx like i'm not gonna get texas on my necklace like, like it's just not it's just like not the vibe so i like la a lot better the last few products are these very random items and these are <laughs> these syrups so i bought a bunch of new syrup this month because i really wanted to have different flavors in my coffees and these two are my absolute favorites i'll link them i got them on amazon even if you have like if you have a keurig or you have an espresso or whatever honestly getting a syrup like that you really like will change the game it's so much different than creamer and it doesn't make it like you know if you guys are not into like the whole like thick milky texture like this doesn't obviously have that so i love this this is the hazelnut one and then i also got uh what is this one the classic caramel i got some other flavors too but these are my favorite and then you can also get the pumps that they come with on amazon as well so i will link everything as i said before but that is everything that i got this month i know it was a lot of stuff some of it was gifted though which like makes me feel better talking to you guys but i it it doesn't even matter i did buy a lot of stuff this month but maybe i'll do better this month we'll see i'll probably make a video oh i forgot to show you guys i also ordered these glasses i'll insert a photo right here of the glasses i bought but they're from um hayley viewers collection that she did with vogue eyewear and i just had to buy them again it was one of those things where like if i didn't get it now maybe they would be sold out i don't know so i bought them and i'm excited but they haven't come in the mail yet so i'm still waiting on those i will do these every single month probably and start showing you guys stuff that i buy that way i can do like try on portions and things like that i hope that you guys enjoyed it also if you guys are new here please do not forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i post a lot over on tiktok i'm always 
doing hauls and showing you guys all the products that I have. So follow me over there and also follow me on Instagram because I'm posting how I style these pieces. I always link everything over there beforehand as well. So anyway, that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.